the story of abandoning you, and not for the first time. How long must we suffer? Is it because we are not angry enough? Have we not lost enough loved ones? Or have we just not suffered enough from this damnable curse? Look at what humanity has done! This is what we get for trusting the Aristoi! This does not provoke resistance, then I know what you truly lack! Weapons to fight back! Not just the killing devices, the courage, or the alcohol. No, I'm talking about the most devastating weapon of all, strategy! We need a flawless strategy! What that ensures our revolution is successful. A strategy that can bring stability and security to the black streets! Do you trust me? Do you want me to provide an answer? To provide hope? Then rally to me! Fight for our dignity! Fight for our survival! some stardust what stardust please I have nothing but Barad won't give me any stardust hey wait you're an outsider no Ow! you useless piece of trash good you are is as food huh outsider looks like you're new here Unlucky for you. You won't get away this time. Yes. They really did all turn to stardust. Just like those animals affected by the magic outside the city.
not a human? Thank <laughs> you. 
Sam. We found this creature on the streets. It seems that he can understand us. Could it be one of the monsters the Empress created? It's not a member of the Empress, but a victim of the experiment that escaped from Styx. Huh? Oh, interesting. It appears to want to work for me. Do you really want this thing to work? Is that a problem? I, a rabbit, do not reject anyone who asks for help. So from now on, you work for me. What job should I give you? The ascension? Boss, I have to say, no one wants to work with this monster. I don't even know if it needs people. Huh? He says he promises to be loyal, and that he doesn't eat people. Any more questions? We got it, but he... What are you afraid of? You call him a monster. Most monsters look just like you and me. The real monsters are handsome, wear fine clothes, and speak sweet nothings. But they are the ones who will eat you alive. If you don't fear them, why does this child scare you? I've made my decision. Let him go on patrol. Confidence. He'll become a more valuable asset than any of you. Those voices coming from upstairs. Did they mention Quintus? Help! Uh, please! You'll pay for what you did, Quintus. I can explain everything. Just let me see Decimus. <laughs> no more chances. Decimus said, you gotta die. Let him go! Thank you, kind stranger. I am Quintus. You saved me. I am forever in your debts and at your service. Good. I was sent by the adherents to ask you to uphold your word and tell me the whereabouts of the Shifting Stone. Huh? The adherents sent you? So they brought in an outsider to help them. How strange. Please, tell me more, friend. No. Just tell me what I need to know. Oh, that's... <laughs> I, I see, friend. How can this humble servant be of service, friend? According to the plan, you're to tell me more about the Shifting Stone. Right, right. You certainly are serious, friend. 
But the situation has changed. The Warats heard that someone wanted to take the Shifting Stone, so they moved it from their warehouse. Do you know where? Within their fortress. But you can't just waltz right in. You worry too much. So, what is your plan? It's clear why the mistress chose you. It's so strong. We should probably help each other out more. <laughs> what do you mean? The mistress promised me that after I tell you about the Shifting Stone, I'll be able to freely enter and leave the shelter. Beyond providing information, I sometimes sell various goods. You would love them, friend. This is the first I've heard of any such promise. It was a private agreement. Of course you wouldn't have been privy to such information, friend. Great. So now I have to protect you, too. Don't worry. Just keep moving forward. I'll find a place to hide. <laughs> this is getting more and more troublesome. I'll help you on your mission. It's no trouble at all. Just tell me how I can get into their encampment. Leave the rest to me. They've probably raised their security by now, but luckily, I'm here. Follow the tunnel behind me to get inside the inner city rampart. It'll be less guarded there. The inner city rampart was once held by the Legion, but pressure from other factions forced them to withdraw. Now, the Warlocks have taken it for themselves and built multiple passages. You can use them to get behind the encampment. So this will put me behind them? That's right, but the inner city rampart is very dark, and outsiders don't have vision as good as ours. <laughs> Also, there seems to be a lot of flour left over from a thousand years ago. Be careful, it's highly flammable. Flour that's been around for a thousand years? Yes, because it's been cursed too. Finally, while you sneak in, I'll ask around and see if I can find where the stone's hidden. After everything that's happened, you still want to come with me? You sure are eager. Well, they raised my shop. I would like a little something to ease my pain. Also, you will be leading the way. <laughs> By the way, here's a small gift for you, friend. What is it? Why are you giving it to me? Please, friend, don't act so surprised. It's highly valuable. I'm sure it'll be of great help to you. One more thing. I piled up some obstacles to block. You can just clear them as you go. dealing with Quintus up there, tell them to hurry back to me. And keep an eye out for signs of any outsiders trespassing on the black streets. Got it, boss!
Serene and I are excited to announce that a new era has arrived. Freedom is the symbol of true wealth, and these star acts will bring us closer to our goal. From today on, those without citizenship will be gifted a star act. These star acts can replace fire, so you no longer have to labor over creating flames. Everyone, this is the beginning of our reform. And we will distribute more Starites with a variety of functions in the future. The Resonator program created by Archon Serene and I will make comfort and freedom no longer privileges exclusive to the Aristor. Bring the people out of the darkness. Let the three shine upon every corner of the city. Line up over here. Friends, don't push. Everyone can register.
The mark on this bag looks familiar. Must belong to Quintus. I'll give it to him when I get the chance. Tread carefully now. Oh! 
my deafness. Right hand of Lord Barad. Don't take another step. I don't know your connection to Quintus, but that's not important now. First, I'll kill you, and wow. then I'll tear Quintus apart. Now die! And that was splendid! Decimus was just as powerful as Barad, yet you vanquished him with ease. If you are willing to do so, you could easily make quick work of Barad as well. I didn't come here for Barad. My mission is to get in, get the Shifting Stone, and get back out undetected. Yes, but with him out of the picture, you wouldn't have to sneak around. It'll be much harder to move around undetected now that you've killed Decimus. It's better to have more options as to how you complete your mission. <laughs> hmm. By the way, friend, I heard some information that I think you should know. <laughs> Where did you hear that the stone's been moved? It wasn't hard at all, Fred. There's no shortage of people willing to give information in exchange for small incentives. Barad isn't the most popular character, after all. All you need are reliable informants, flexible methods of inquiry, and a careful mind. <laughs> Fred, please don't say it's only now that you begin to appreciate my talents. To be fair, the first time I tried to meet you, you ditched me. Please, give me some time and I'll prove myself. So if Barad is so bad, why has no one overthrown him? Those who can overthrow him look on indifferently, and those who want to are powerless to do so. To be honest, Minerva's adherents belong to the latter. If Barad were to die, it would be a huge advantage for them. Really? I don't know. Minerva told me to keep a low profile. Isn't the reason obvious? The mistress doesn't think you can kill Barad. Of course you're so strong, friend. But if I was the mistress, I wouldn't believe you could defeat Barad either. Maybe... Barad probably moved the Shifting Stone to lure me in. You know what? I'd actually like to see for myself how ugly that face of his really is. Friend! This is as far as I go, friend. I'll only slow you down if I keep going. But don't worry, I'll try to stay here. If you need to retreat. I don't do retreats. It's not my style. And even if Barad won't give me the Shifting Stone, I'll figure out a way to get it. Leave it to me. Ah, you certainly are reliable. Then I'll await your good news. How can this humble servant this be? Is our only... But I don't know. Can this humble servant be of service, friend?
cares? My target is the Stardust. The gods only know what the stone is for. I only ask because I received information that the Etherus want to come and examine it. What? Just who leaked its whereabouts to them? We both know who did it. Anyway, they seem to be very interested. Hmm. Even if we don't infringe on each other now, they will cover this place sooner or later. Should we offer them the stone to maintain the current peace? I think they might make their move after the war in order to weaken us. I really don't trust the Ethers. What do you think? Do they even have a chance of beating the Archon? Actually, I think their chance of victory is very high. That's not good. Alright, I've made my decision. If the Ethers makes an inquiry, just set a price with them. The higher, the better. They may have helped me be rid of the curse, but if they want me to submit to them, that's a totally different matter. Understood.
Lady, what's up? Hey, look, I found awesome. Now I can. Thank you.